Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we stand on the precipice of profound change, it is imperative that we gather our hearts and minds to receive a message of critical importance. The Holy Spirit, in His boundless wisdom, has revealed two devastating visions through the esteemed Father Chris Alar, each brimming with urgency and weight. These visions are not mere forewarnings. They are calls to vigilance, prompting us to brace ourselves for the turbulence that November 2024 is poised to unleash upon the world. With a heavy heart yet a fervent spirit, let us prepare ourselves for the unfolding of these events, events that threaten to tear the very fabric of our society apart. We must heed this divine counsel and turn our focus towards prayer, repentance, and solidarity. Through these prophetic insights, may we find not only understanding, but also the resolve to face the challenges that lie ahead. In the recent visions bestowed upon Father Chris Alar, the Holy Spirit unveiled two tragedies that will strike in November, leaving millions reeling in their wake. These revelations are steeped in urgency as they indicate a shift that will affect not just individuals, but nations and communities across the globe. Father Chris Alar spoke with a prophetic authority, urging us to recognize the signs of the times. The first vision he received reveals catastrophic waves that will crash upon major coastal cities, resulting in widespread destruction and chaos. The second vision unfolds on the high seas, showcasing fierce conflicts between shipping vessels, igniting tensions that will escalate into international crises. These revelations are not to be taken lightly. They are a divine warning meant to awaken us from our slumber. As the Holy Spirit guides us, we are called to a higher understanding and to prepare ourselves spiritually and practically for the challenges that await. In his first vision, Father Chris Alar saw a scene of unfathomable magnitude, massive waves surging toward coastal cities, an overwhelming force of nature set to devastate everything in its path. He witnessed cities now facing the imminent threat of drowning beneath the relentless tide. The images were haunting, filled with the cries of the innocent caught in the chaos. Imagine, if you will, the vibrant shores of Los Angeles, Miami, New York, and Seattle, cities that have long stood as beacons of hope and progress. In this prophetic vision, Father Alar described how these iconic locations would find themselves at the mercy of nature's wrath. Towering waves reaching heights never before recorded will crash into the shore, inundating neighborhoods and washing away the dreams of millions. The devastation will not discriminate, Families will be torn apart as lives are lost, homes are destroyed, and communities are shattered. Schools, hospitals, and places of worship will find themselves overwhelmed, leaving residents in despair. The disruption of infrastructure will plunge cities into chaos as emergency services struggle to respond to the overwhelming need. He believed this is not just a natural disaster. It is a clarion call from the Holy Spirit urging us to prepare our hearts and minds. As these waves approach, we must ask ourselves, how can we be a source of hope and healing in the aftermath of such tragedy? How can we stand firm in faith when faced with such despair? Imagine the sights and sounds of these cities in the wake of the waves, the once vibrant streets now silent and deserted, filled only with the echoes of loss and grief. Picture families frantically searching for loved ones, their faces etched with worry, fear, and uncertainty. Neighborhoods that once buzzed with life will become ghost towns, the laughter of children replaced by silence and despair. In the aftermath, the infrastructure that supports our daily lives, bridges, roads, and public transport will be rendered useless. Hospitals overwhelmed by the sheer number of casualties will struggle to provide care for those in desperate need. First responders will be stretched to their limits, facing challenges they never anticipated. As we contemplate these devastating images, we are reminded of our duty as believers. In the wake of such calamity, we are called to be the hands and feet of Christ. We must prepare ourselves to respond, to offer assistance, and to bring hope to those who find themselves in the depths of despair. We must be vigilant, praying for those affected and for the strength to be instruments of God's love. In the second vision granted to Father Chris Alar, we see a different but equally dire scenario unfold on the open seas. He witnessed fierce disputes erupting between cargo ships, battles for dominance over vital trade routes. This maritime conflict is set to escalate, 
drawing nations into a web of political strife and potential warfare. In his dream, he saw powerful shipping vessels, each carrying the weight of nations' economies, colliding in a cacophony of horns and shouts. Crews are caught in the middle of a storm, not just of waves, but of anger and desperation. The seas transform into a battleground, filled with hostility and aggression. The implications of this vision are staggering. With vital trade routes disrupted, essential goods will become scarce. Nations that rely on maritime transport for food, medicine, and resources will feel the immediate impact, triggering economic downturns and heightening tensions between countries. As we see these events unfold, we will witness a ripple effect, conflict arising from desperation and fear. The world will be torn apart as nations grapple for control and dominance. Alliances that once seemed unbreakable may crumble under the pressure of scarcity, leaving communities vulnerable and isolated. The potential for conflict will rise as leaders seek to protect their interests, and the innocent will suffer as a result. The disruption of trade routes will lead to severe shortages of goods. Grocery shelves will be emptied, and families will struggle to find the essentials they need. The price of basic necessities will skyrocket, creating further divisions and strife within communities. As desperation mounts, we may witness protests, civil unrest, and a growing sense of hopelessness. Moreover, this maritime conflict could lead to military confrontations, with nations scrambling to assert their dominance over vital shipping lanes. The threat of warfare looms large, as countries may be drawn into alliances and coalitions, each seeking to protect their interests. The stakes will be high, and the consequences will ripple across the globe, affecting even those who are far removed from the conflict. As these two visions intertwine, we must acknowledge the gravity of the situation. The Holy Spirit is warning us that November will not only be a month marked by physical tragedies, but also by spiritual ones. As communities are torn apart by natural disasters and international conflicts, the bonds of trust and unity will fray, leaving individuals isolated and despondent. The call to action is clear. We must prepare ourselves, not just materially, but spiritually. This is a time for deep introspection and repentance. We are urged to cleanse our hearts and seek the presence of the Lord. The waves of destruction will affect our emotional and spiritual well-being. Thus, we must turn to prayer and seek guidance from the Holy Spirit. As we conclude this urgent message, let us remember the powerful revelations given to Father Chris Alar. The prophecies of catastrophic waves and international tensions serve as a wake-up call to all of us. We cannot afford to ignore these warnings. We must rise to the occasion with courage and conviction. Let us commit ourselves to prayer, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit in these tumultuous times. May our hearts be filled with compassion for those who will suffer, and may our actions reflect the love of Christ in a world that so desperately needs it. In the name of Jesus Christ, may we find strength and courage to navigate the trials that await us. Let us unite in purpose and prayer, trusting in the Lord's guidance as we prepare for the days ahead. The Holy Spirit is with us, providing comfort and clarity as we face the unknown. Let us close our eyes and reflect on the power of collective prayer as we prepare for what lies ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, acknowledging our need for your guidance and protection. We ask that you strengthen our hearts and prepare our spirits for the challenges to come. May we be filled with your love and grace, ready to share hope with those who will be affected by these tragedies. Together, let us turn to the Holy Spirit for wisdom and direction, asking him to illuminate our path as we walk through this difficult season. May we be a source of light in the darkness, showing the world that even in times of despair, faith and love endure. May the grace of God empower us and may we walk in His light as we face the tragedies of November 2024 with unwavering faith and courage. Amen.